contract for his agent, Rich Paul of Clutch Sports. He said that James would be willing to work with the Lakers on a deal below the maximum three-year $162 million that he's eligible to sign if they're able to find the right piece. But here's the thing, Mark. They missed out on Clay. They've missed out on Harden, Jonas Valanciunas, a player who's still available, though. Oh, hey, DeMar DeRozan. So will they go after him or will they stand pat? That's not a this or that, but it rhymes with this or that. I, I heard they're being lightweight, interested, but they've got to be creative. Like, bring him home. Get some L.A. You know, get Kendrick Lamar's boy on the team. Get some, get some L.A. vibe in the Lakers. Sure. I mean, talent is talent. It depends, again, on what goes out the door. I mean, this is not someone who's going to add a ton of three-point shooting to your team, but he's a great long two shooter. He's become a good passer. Like, I think people have made the comparison between the Russ transaction and the potential signing of DeMar. I don't see that. I think DeMar's a totally different player, a much better fit with the Lakers. But again, I'll keep saying it. It depends on what talent goes out the door if you can pull a transaction like I see this. what you did there. You're dropping in a little bit of Kendrick Lamar. You know, he could go and look at all those, all those other teams and the Lakers. Tell him, like, hey, they not like us. They not like us. Come with well, us. Well, I mean, but how long is LeBron going to say, okay, they may not be like us. I'm going to be okay. Or is he going to go to <laughs> Vegas and this is all, without a contract? This is all time? flying over my head. Yeah. Don't, Bulls, don't know. You were presenting I, it to I, the I, team. Uh, <laughs> I, I got it. I got Even it. I got it. It, it, I should have it, warned it you. involves the Drake. I understand. It involves the, the Drake. It's the Drake. Kendrick uh, Lamar being the Drake. The Bulls have expressed an interest to participate in a sign and trade for DeMar DeRozan, but it takes two to make a deal. The Lakers were involved in talks to get Clay Thompson, and to get that $80 million they were going to offer Clay, they were going to have to do a deal somewhere. Okay. So if I were DeMar, I'd say, well, you got a deal somewhere. Make the deal for me. The question is, would they be willing to make the same deal? And that's, you know, to Zach's point. Wendy, in the break, I'm going to catch you up on everything. I don't know how much time in, in, in just, just a break. break. Just All right, break. lastly, Please, you're gonna need more time. this summer's Olympics, <laughs> it starts in just 25 days. The U.S. roster is set to meet in Las Vegas in just four days. So who better to talk about this than worldwide Wendy, who's going to be in Paris for the games. Paris will be filled with plenty, though, of NBA talent. So who wins gold, the United States or the field? Well, I'm taking the U.S., but it's gonna, it's, it's, it was going to be the greatest basketball tournament, international basketball tournament in the history of the sport. Without question, the knockout rounds in Paris, that, that final eight, are going to be an absolute, you know, incredible struggle. And this week, we have some awesome games coming up. Luca and Giannis are both trying to qualify for the same spot in Greece. The Bahamas are trying to make a, an, an amazing run to upset the Spanish to try to get in. Uh, the, the Olympic basketball has already begun, <laughs> and that guy's going to need a great week to, to get there, and so is Luca. Luca's playing right now against Croatia, I believe. By the way, that video of Giannis right there doing that, that was the Kendrick Lamar. What, 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 what? That's okay. what it was that when was you need over time. my head. More still more time? <laughs> I need more time. Oh, I'm going to work on it. Take a look at this, though. Team USA will be going for a fifth straight gold medal in Paris. The four straight the Americans have already won. That's the second longest streak in Olympic men's basketball history. You think they keep it going, Zach? I would take U.S. over field, but this is the tightest it's ever been with the teams that Canada and Serbia and others can can bring in. Go Croatia, by the way. They're up on Luka right now. Don't forget about Croatia. <laughs> Don't forget about the world champions, Germany. That's true. Oh, yeah. All right. But let's let's take size. a break so Chanae can explain everything. We got this. To Brian. That's you want to get So Paul George is headed to Philadelphia. So let's play a little bit of this, a, a little, little bit, bit of that. that. It's simple. I'm going to give you a topic, and you're going to choose which one, this or that, the options that you like. You ready, Zach Lowe? Uh, me? Yes, you. <laughs> was that you every time you were in a class? The teacher was like, get you. it. And Zach Lowe. Me. <laughs> All right, we're going to start in the East, where two teams have improved, at least on paper. Paul George agreeing to sign with the Sixers, as we just mentioned. And then the Knicks trading for Mikhail Bridges. Remember that? I know it was like a week ago. But, Zach, which team has a better chance at reaching the finals, the Sixers or the Knicks? Well, thanks for giving me the hard one. <laughs> this, this, is, this is mean, especially since the Sixers have half a team right now. Look, I don't know. Both could do it. But if you're putting me on the spot, was what you people do to me. Ding, ding, ding. I think I'm going to go with the Knicks just because they have a full team. And Joel is never healthy in the playoffs. Paul George is often injured. I guess I'll go with the Knicks. They're both awesome. They could both make it, but I'm going Knicks. You feel that somewhere? Stephen A is yep. smiling yep. from ear to ear, Shanae. Yep, on a beach in Miami. Yeah, I don't somewhere know. It's Miami. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's, he's is it from us or it's Miami? with Zach Mark that it is the Knicks that have a better opportunity. Oh, Sixers. They got Joel and B. They got the three best players amongst the two teams. The okay. three best whoa, players whoa, over Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson, you're whoa. taking Paul George and Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid over Jalen Brunson. Whoa, child. All right, somewhere that is going to be a Josh Hart 
That's hard perpetually Wendy. online. This was a hard one. I agree. Uh, I think the top end of the Sixers is the hi is higher than the top end of the Knicks, and that's what you're going to take to beat the Celtics top end. So I begrudgingly say the Sixers, but <laughs> the Knicks are very strong. All right, let's see if this one's a little bit easier. From the East <laughs> to the West, two teams who have added to their already impressive rosters: the Thunder, who traded for Alex Caruso, Isaiah Hartenstein, agreeing to a three-year deal, and then Clay Thompson agreeing to a deal with the Mavs. So Chenay, who Ooh. do you think has a better chance of reaching the finals in the West? The Thunder. I'm not Zach. I will actually answer the question, <laughs> and oh. I'm going to go with Shots OKC, fired. baby. Uh, team Lightning Bolt, Team Thunder. Just because they had some issues protecting the paint, they bring in Hartenstein. Then they have issues, you know, trying to stay and protect their standings at number one. They bring in the, one of the most competitive players and Alex Caruso. But most importantly, they have still protected those picks. They've got plenty to keep making moves for the foreseeable future. Yeah. So I think OKC is sitting. There were a lot of P's in this. Pretty. Yeah, they have some pick soup <laughs> that they got going on. All right, next up, according to our Woj, the Cleveland Cavaliers all-star guard Donovan Mitchell agreed to a three-year 150.3 to be exact million dollar max extension. That includes a player option for 2027-28. So check out his reaction to signing the deal this morning. Watch this. All year I've been saying the same shit. Like, say how much I like it. Every day it's like, oh, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I think it's hilarious. It is what it is. But I'm glad I got this shit done, man. I'm glad I got this shit done, Cleveland. I mean, safe to say he is excited. So, Wendy, uh, he has never made a conference finals, though, in his career. Will he or will he not with the Cavaliers in this window? That. This is that, right? I just <laughs> said that. Uh... <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, in honesty, in all honesty, the, the the Cavs gave the Celtics as much of a run as any of the teams that yep. they played in the playoffs last year, and that was with Donovan injured and Jared Allen injured. So they're trying to build off some momentum, and they've got a new coach in Kenny Atkinson. And by the way, this is the second biggest transaction in the history of the Cavs franchise. After LeBron coming back in 2014, getting Donovan, who they traded the three first-round picks and the pick swaps for, in committed can take the pressure off for the next couple of years and give them an opportunity to improve to get to that conference finals. You know what, Donovan? I was one of the few people that believed you. I saw your picture when you were a little boy wearing a Cavs jersey, the LeBron 2007 jersey. He's been a fan. He loves living there. Aww. He's a short flight to Connecticut, so that 45 minutes. Was he in home. Cleveland when he made that video? That's the only question I had, because I think he was in games trailing only Hall of Famer Tamika Catchings. And then Clark has been even better passing the ball. Her 138 assists, they're the second most in WNBA history through a player's first 20 career games, the most since 1998. But on the flip side, Clark has also been prolific turning the ball over here. This is not really where you want to be prolific. 112 turnovers. They're the most by any player in a 20-game span in WNBA history by 15. So, Chine, let's just preview this matchup a little bit. This is going to be an awesome game. I told you so. The WNBA <laughs> is no joke. And last time out, it was the rookie vet matchup of Caitlin Clark versus Diana Taurasi, the all-time leading scorer in the WNBA. Now it's this. Caitlin Clark versus Asia Wilson, the leading scorer this year. Ayo. So far, what is Caitlin bringing to the table? Well, clearly, it's her signature three. Get this. Steph Curry led the NBA and made threes last year again. Caitlin actually shoots further than Steph Curry. Look at the numbers right here. 27.1 feet. 26.8. So I'll show you exactly how she gets her signature three done. So let's roll the tape. Oh, snap. This is my sister squad. It's all good. Look how deep <laughs> this is. This is 31 feet, a little misdirection action to the top of the key, and she knocks it down. Okay, we got to switch games here. Okay, thank you. My sister would text me. It's her birthday. We can do birthday, that to Nega. her. 33 feet. That was a beautiful pass from E. Weezy. You have to guard her once she crosses half court. Now, clearly, Caitlin Clark can shoot, but also she's going up against Asia Wilson, who is top tier, that dog. Look at this, a record-setting season for Asia. 26.7 points per game this season, on pace to break the WNBA's single-season scoring record. She is on one, and I'll show you exactly how she gets it done. One thing I love about Asia is she moves without the basketball. Great screens here to get her a look to her favorite hand, her left hand. She cuts back door. This is Connecticut Sun. They're the one, one of the best defenses in the WNBA. Wide open look. Now, this is the part that I think everyone should be scared about. Last year, Asia shot 31% from three. This year, she's shooting 38%. 
up 7%. Shooting that, taking more, and now when she's knocking this down, it's going to be a long night for each and everyone. And then lastly, you always have to block her out. You can't turn and watch. Instead, she sees it. She's going to hustle after the ball. And this is where she's great. Off the dribble, her mid-range. Ooh, the pivot turnaround on her weak side, her right hand. I love this because, one, we're talking about rookie vet matchups. Uh, you've got the rookie that shoots from 27 feet versus yep. the vet that is scoring 27 points per game. Ooh. It's a match made in a numbers heaven. It's a little magic number, and not to mention Asia top two in points, in rebounds, and in blocks in the W. So it's time now for Setting the Pick, brought to you by ESPN Bet, the official sports book of ESPN. We just got that breakdown from Shanae on Asia Wilson here. She's having a historic season. So will she score more or less than her average 27 <laughs> points tonight? Come on. Years. More. Okay. Yeah. She's Same. in the T-Mobile. She's going <laughs> to put up a big a, show. Yeah, respectfully, she's, she's going to get it. All Vegas right. Boulevard well, how about night. this one for you, Shanae? Caitlin Clark asked. Averaging seven assists per game, will she have more or less? YouTube của mình, video ngày hôm nay mình sẽ làm video để gửi tặng đến tất cả mọi người là hướng dẫn các bạn cách tô mò sao cho thật đẹp những bức tranh. Bây giờ chúng ta có bắt đầu nào? Xin chào các bạn nha. Bây giờ giờ chị bạn nha các bạn.
như vậy giờ mình nghe kết thúc như vậy xin chào tất cả các bạn đã quay trở lại với kênh youtube của mình video ngày hôm nay mình sẽ làm video gửi để gửi tặng đến tất cả mọi người là hướng dẫn các bạn cách tô mò sao cho thật đẹp những bức tranh bây giờ chúng ta bắt đầu nào bây giờ bạn nhé giờ chi tiết tô mò nha các bạn
như vậy là video mình đến kết thúc các bạn. Xin chào tất cả các bạn đã quay